Yes, it is morning. Good morning, everyone, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I, uh, my name's Alex Mayle. Uh, some of you, probably, lots of you have seen me before, uh, standing on stages like this, uh, beating the drum uh, for UK content. Um, anyway, I'm going to do it again. Um, today, uh, I'm going to really touch on three things. Uh, maybe Bridges' journey uh, from bridge building, which is, as the name suggests, is where we started, uh, into uh, a major diversification to renewables uh, earlier this year. Uh, then I'm going to touch on the onshore wind market, um, perhaps a little bit back to front there, in as much as it's the market that drove us to make the investment, but anyway, I'll touch on the market, but also I'll touch on what I see as the next steps uh, for us, maybe Bridge, and us as an industry. Right. Um, as I say, maybe Bridge uh, started off as a bridge builder. Our, our history can be traced back to 1849, uh, when uh, certain Mr. Brunel bought the railway over the River Wye, uh, at the site actually shown here, uh, and established a fabrication yard uh, on the banks of the Y, back, like I say, in 1849. Uh, there has been a yard there ever since, fabricating all manner of things throughout all of those years, always fabricating bridges. Um, <coughs> we actually have two bridge manufacturing sites, this one here, uh, and another one uh, just 10 miles away in Gloucestershire. Um, Basically, we are a fabricator of uh, high quality uh, structural steel work. Uh, some of it is customer designed, uh, and others, other elements of it are modular bridging, which is our own design, our own products. Uh, we currently employ about 500 people, uh, and with our latest investment, the wind turbine tower manufacturing facility, we have capacity to process about 100,000 tonnes of structural steel work a year. So, why don't we go into uh, the manufacture of wind turbine towers? Well, quite simply, it fits. Um, I've mentioned our other factories. Let's touch on Chepstow first, the plant in Chepstow. It's a heavy plate fabrication facility. Uh, it uses all manner of welding processes, including submerged art welding, which if you're not into fabrication, is a very similar process to that used in, or the same process that used in tower manufacture. We apply high performance protective coatings, and indeed we erect uh, all of the bridges that we build in the UK. So that's the Chepstow plant. We then have the Lydney plant. Uh, this plant manufactures our modular bridging solutions, so we can have a standardized volume production. Uh, we use a lot of robot technology, it's highly automated. In fact, it is often described more like a car plant than a fabrication shop. But key to this is obviously consistency and reproducibility. So we had those two plants already and had them for many years. And by combining them, we were able to make a world-class tower manufacturing facility, combining the skills from both existing plants uh, Needless to say, there was a £38 million investment, uh, privately financed by the Maybe Group. Um, I will have a little dig at the politicians. There was not a penny <coughs> of assistance from Welsh Government, despite all the rest. Um, it is in Wales. Uh, currently, we employ about 100 people on this new site. Uh, but we have aspirations, and I hope this will happen this year, but obviously subject to the market, uh, we have aspirations to employ 240 uh, skilled workers at that factory. Uh, and we have capacity to make up to 300 wind turbine towers a year. So, that's our little journey thus far. So a little bit about uh, the market. I'm sure you all know uh, turbines the technology uh, is supplied by the, basically in the UK, by the major European technology providers. Um, one at least of whom I know is here today. Um, they are our customers. 
Okay? They are the people that are going to buy wind turbine towers. But you have to say, why would they buy them from maybe Bridge? They've been doing this in the UK for many years, quite successfully, and the majority of the towers, if not all of the towers, come in from all over the globe. They have suppliers all over the globe. They are truly global businesses that we're dealing with. And that was really the key. We make this investment, but we need some customers. We have spent a significant amount of effort over the last year to 18 months, and some of my colleagues that have put that effort in, uh, probably more so than me, to be honest, are here as well today. But they've put a huge amount of effort in to working with developers, a number of whom are here today, trying to encourage them to buy local towers, UK produced towers. Uh, two reasons. If there's some local content, or UK content at least, it's likely to improve the chances of planning, we believe. And secondly, not insignificantly, getting rid of the cost of shipping these large tubes um, across the seas has, provides the opportunity for significant cost savings. So we have been working with the developers effectively to lobby the technology providers that they really ought to be buying uh, their turbine towers in the UK. Um, what are supply opportunities are there? Well, there are opportunities for suppliers, Welsh suppliers, to break into this market. Um, obviously, there's, there's no opportunity at all for any other turbine tower manufacturers in the UK. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> fair. Um, but um, just in case I was misunderstood there. Um, but there are opportunities for Welsh suppliers. Um, you know, as a business, we buy the steel, we buy flanges, we buy internal components, ladders, platforms, cabling, all manner of things. Uh, and we are looking to establish a local supply chain to support us, giving more employment, greater jobs uh, within Wales off the back of our investment. From our own point of view, we want to extend our offering. At the moment, our offering is simply the supply of a tower. Um, we want to erect the turbines, so that's the tower, the cells, the blades, uh, as well, like we do in the bridge market. But um, to anybody who wants to get into this market, they've got to understand it is not easy. They are global customers with established supply chains, okay? And it really is not easy. You need to identify your unique if not differentiating selling point. So, what are the next steps for us, for all of us? I think it's absolutely essential that we work together. And this comment, I'll be quite frank, is aimed in many respects at developers as much as anybody. But we work together um, to try and change public perception. If everybody takes their case and says, no, I'm going to develop every single project in the portfolio, we're going to end up with this perception that we are going to cover Wales in wind farms. Uh, and I think there isn't anybody here that really believes that that's going to be the case. We need to be realistic and we need to agree what we think is a reasonable level of development. It probably won't be the same as the Welsh Government view, um, but I think we need to get together and establish that and state that and what does that really mean because that could have an impact on the grid connection. I think one of the other things is, as far as I'm concerned, it's not just about renewables. Uh, this morning, earlier, um, somebody mentioned that the, the issue of energy security and the lights going out. Now, I've stood on the stage and said that before, but it's absolutely true. You know, as part of our business, it may not be popular, but I will say it, we have an interest in nuclear new build because of the major elements of structural steelwork in that as well. Um, but because of our interest, we also understand that around the UK at the moment, we are decommissioning nuclear power stations. Okay? So demand is going up and supply is coming down. We need to do something to fill the gap. 
and it has to be low carbon technology. And for me, wind, onshore wind, as well as offshore wind, is a key part of that mix and of that supply for the future. And I think that is a key message that we need to get to the public, that it is about energy supply. It's not just about being green. Okay? Key to this, I think we need to work together to dispel the misinformation as well as get the truth out there. Uh, and quite clearly, uh, as was said in the previous speaker, in terms of good news, get good news out there, we need to evaluate the potential and the real economic benefits and broadcast it. So, in summary, uh, it has been a very tough year for us since we opened our factory in May. Eight, say year, we were trying to recruit orders to, from about a year ago. It has been very tough. Um, but I do genuinely believe that the UK is a good place for onshore wind. Uh, we will make a success of it, absolutely. These are our first towers uh, leaving just a few weeks ago in actual fact. <coughs> Uh, there are opportunities for other suppliers as well. Great, greater economic benefit for prosperity in Wales. But I firmly believe that a lot more can be achieved if we work together. And this will bring real benefits for Wales and the United Kingdom. Thank you.